So in this video, we'll be going over a problem that sometimes arises when using the MyCNC application. And uh, here, as you can see, the issue is that I have my program that is being open, um, but I have a blank screen instead of a proper GUI. And um, the reason that it happens is typically that you've used an experimental feature in MyCNC and it has somehow bricked your XML file that uh, you're using to populate the screen. And to fix it, you can go into your home folder. So for me, that's the MyCNC folder. Go into .config, go into your MyCNC folder, profiles, and then select the profile that you're using. So here I know that I'm using the LJOG X1366P profile, and typically it, it will be the latest profile that you've edited, so it'll be at the bottom of the screen here. And here I can see the XML files that populate the screen, typically. However, uh, because there is actually nothing on the screen, I know there's some sort of an issue. So the main file that is responsible for displaying your on-screen buttons, etc., is the cnc screen.xml file right here. Let me just drag it over. And here I have some main buttons, and then I have a bunch of include files. So these are the rest of the files that you can see in this folder right here. However, uh, let's say you were using an experimental feature in MyCNC, and that has created this other file called cnc screen custom.xml. If we open it, we can see that it's actually a blank file. It doesn't have any include statements, it doesn't have any buttons, etc, etc. So this is what you're seeing when you have your application open and the screen is blank. And to fix it, we can simply close that and delete this file right here, so this custom file that is now created. We move it to trash, we go back to my application here, and we reload it. So here I've pressed the command X shortcut to reload the GUI. Confirm. And we should now hopefully see that the buttons will come back when the program is reloaded. There we go. So the buttons are now back on. And um, now let's go and take a look at what has actually caused the problem. So in most cases it is, as I've said, an experimental feature that you have enabled. And that experimental feature is located in your settings, configuration, advanced UI settings, under this experimental allow to edit CNC screen.xml. You have probably set this to be on. And what has happened is, after we save it, you have tried to right click some sort of an element on the screen to maybe check what it does. So here, for example, I've clicked on the laser pointer button, and I can see that it has some sort of an image, some sort of a tooltip, etc., etc. And this is a very useful feature. However, it's also an experimental feature that is not actually widely used. Uh, so, for example, if we try to change something like the width or the height, and we press the Save button, then a custom XML file will be created and it will override your CNC screen XML file. So by default we do not recommend that you press the save button and if you do and you have a blank screen it is very easy to fix by simply heading into your profile folder and deleting the CNC screen custom.xml file. Thank you for watching. Please visit our documentation at docs.pvautomation.com for more information.